Shalom Israel. My name is Afisa Kayad, one out of ISUPK, Jamaica. ISUPK started 1 West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York. ISUPK is run by Commanding General Yahana, the one man with the rank and the authority to lead Israel at this time. I say, Yahawa Basham Yahawashai Brakatam to my brothers. Yahawa Shamar Alathan Basham Yahawashai to my sisters. Alright, so today we are going to talk about, you know what I mean, Christmas. You know what I mean? And we are going to review the responses of the people um, to the news that to some extent the curfew is being lifted, you know what I mean? Um, and Christmas Day, New Year's Eve and Christmas Eve, you understand? So without further ado, we are going to play that tape. But in the meanwhile, remember to like the video, you understand? Subscribe, share even the comments you understand visited the downtown kingston market district ahead of the festive season prime minister andrew holness announced the nightly curfew has been relaxed by an hour and will now commence at 10 p.m until 5 a.m daily as of friday december 10 running until thursday january 13 2022 Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve will, however, see a further extension to 1 a.m. to facilitate traditional activities on Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. Downtown Kingston is the biggest shopping hub for Grand Market Night, so we visited to hear the thoughts of operators. Um, it's okay, but it could have been better for other people who not get to come out for them time there, if you can understand. But it's okay so far. We have to eat it better than nothing. For some retail operators, while they were unwilling to speak with our news team on camera, they said the curfew time will not make a huge difference for their operations. However, for the vendors, they expressed gratitude. Well, it's a good look, you know, we have to just give Father God thanks to get a look at extension and look at time we can earn and look at food, put on the table. It's not great, you know, but we can have one tree and one tree and make two ends meet. We have to give Father God for that. I expect to see more blessing, more buyer out. People can go around freely and support us. We appreciate that a lot. Cody and Barry to TVJ News. All right, so you know what I mean? So basically the government free up, you know what I mean, for the holiday period, you know what I mean? But to be honest, the people, pana, you know what I mean, pana general, they not going really benefit, you know what I mean, pana whole from it, just probably for the couple of days where you know what I mean? The curfew lift them can make the money during the period. But it's really the government that do it for themselves, you know, because at the end of the day, this is where they make the most of their money. You know what I mean? This is when, you know what I mean, the majority of their money are uh, this is the time when they make the most money. You understand? So they really free it up for themselves. But the people now who have been restricted right throughout the year, see how them benefit. They no benefit. You understand? They're not benefiting in no kind of way because, you know what I mean, right through the year, you are suffer. And now, for celebrate this holiday, this pagan holiday, the government are going to free up, not for you, but for themselves. You know what I mean? And if their concern was um, gathering together COVID and them things, them, them, you know what I mean, according to what they have been doing right through the year, you know what I mean, they would have continued. But, you know what I mean, as we can see, Whenever it comes to money, election, and them things that the government is willing to free up, you know what I mean, the, 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 the restrictions. All right, so we're going to jump in at the topic of Christmas now, see? Because, all right, in the video, you see where people are saying, you know what I mean, they might expect more blessings. But we have to make with people them know, say, God is not with Christmas. You understand? God hates Christmas. Christmas have nothing to do with Jesus, and it now have nothing to do with God. As a matter of fact, God, you know what I mean, sure is you know what I mean? This pleasure for us celebrating, you know what I mean? These holidays in the Bible. You understand? So, without further ado, we are going to jump straight into some scriptures. You understand? So, we are going to jump to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10 and verse 2. We are going to read down to 5. And this is what it says. Thus say the Lord, learn not the way of the Eden. You know what I mean? So, the most I say, learn not the way of the Eden. Which Eden? We were, we, were, we were taught to celebrate Christmas by the oppressor, the white man, that Eden. You understand? We did not. This is not our custom. This is the custom of the oppressor. You understand? And the oppressor got it from other Edens, other pagans. You understand? Other cultures, which he then, you know what I mean, 
rearrange it in his own thing and call it Christmas. You understand? Um, with the help of the Christian church. You see? Continue reading. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. Verse 3. For the custom of the people are vain. You know what I mean? What is vain? The custom of this, the people. This custom, Christmas, Easter, all these holidays. Continue reading. For one cut it a tree out of the, the forest. You know what I mean? So for one cut it a tree out of the forest. Talking about the Christmas tree. Seeing the work of the hands of the workman. Seeing with the axe. So one cut an evergreen tree. You know what I mean? That Christmas tree out of the forest. You understand? The, with the axe. Continue reading. They deck it with silver and with gold. You understand? So them deck the Christ Christmas tree with silver and gold. You understand? And the most I tell you say, yo, don't learn this way. Learn not the way of the Eden because this is what they do. They cut trees out of the forest and decorate it with, with silver and gold. The most die is not with Christmas. You understand? Continue reading. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. You know what I mean? Here in Jamaica, we put it in a paint bucket and throw cement in it or dirt or sand to make it stand up. You know what I mean? In some other cultures, they nail it down to the ground. You understand? The most I tell you, say, yo, learn not this way. The most I is not with it. You understand? All right. So this is talking about the Christ Christmas tree. So let me show you where the Christmas tree originated from. We are going to um, share the screen so you can see. Remember to like the video, share, you know what I mean? And subscribe to this channel. All right. So it says, Nimrod, the Lord of Christmas. Nimrod married his own mother, whose name was Simramesis. After Nimrod's death, his so-called wife, Dash mother, Simramesis, propagate the evil doctrine of the survival of Nimrod as a spiritual being. So after Nimrod died, his wife slash mother say, yo, you know what I mean? He never died. He survive and he come back as a spiritual being. He's now a spiritual being. She claims a full-grown ever tree, which full-grown ever tr tree, that Christmas tree, that same tree, you know, that is the evergreen tree. You understand? Sprung overnight from a dead tree stump, which symbolized the springing forth unto new life of the dead Nimrod. And each anniversary of his birth, she claimed Nimrod would visit the evergreen tree and leave gifts upon it. December the 25th was the birthday of Nimrod. This is the real origin of the Christmas tree. Traditionally, a Yule log was burned in the fireplace on, the, on Christmas Eve and during the night as the logs, em, like, yeah, the logs embers die. There appeared in the room as if by magic, a Christmas tree surrounded by gifts. You understand? So that is where, you know what I mean, the Christian church and the oppressor you know what I mean? Get the custom of the Christmas tree from. You know what I mean? The Yule log represent the sun god Nimrod and the Christmas tree represent himself resurrected as his own son Tammuz. Seeing Christmas as a pagan holiday traced back thousands of years before to a man named Nimrod, founder of ancient pagan Babylon. All right, and this same Nimrod is in the Bible. So let me ask you, let me just find it for you quick and fast. The same Nimrod is in the Bible. You understand? And this was the founder of Babylon as that article um, stated a while ago. See? The same Nimrod. All right, slap you. All right, so we're there at the book of Genesis, chapter 10, verse 8 to 10. And it says, verse 8, and Cush begat Nimrod. So, you know what I mean? This is the same Nimrod referred to there in that article. But it says, Cush begat Nimrod. Where, where do you know that word, Cush? Cush is, you know what I mean? Is, um, is the grandson of Noah. So, you had um, 
Ham, Shem, and Japheth. And Cush is one of the sons of Ham. You understand? But we hear the rest of them talk about Cush all the while. They say they're a Cushite. Speaking about the Ethiopians, because Cush is the father of the Ethiopians. You know what I mean? And Cush's son was Nimrod. You understand? So, and Nimrod was the king of Babylon, ancient Babylon. So, in fact, ancient Babylon is ancient Ethiopia. You understand? And our, our Rasta brothers in the Rastafari community, which don't have the knowledge of the truth, see? they don't understand that. That Kush is Babylon. You understand? And Nimrod is the father of the Christmas tree. Babylon's mighty king. You know what I mean? The king of ancient Babylon. So let me continue reading. He began to be a mighty one in the earth. Verse 9. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Wherefore it is said, even as Nimrod the mighty hunter before the Lord. And the beginning, Slakia verse 10. And the beginning of his kingdom was Babel, or Babylon. Zin, and Erek, and Akkad, and Kalne, and in the land of Shinar. You understand? All right. So, we are going to show you, Slakia. Let me see if any more did I read out of the land. Right, right, right. All right. So, we are going to show you what Nimrod did. Zin, the same Nimrod who died and his wife slash mother you know what I mean? Erected an evergreen tree. You know what I mean? Which is the Christmas tree. You know what I mean? And look at history on the Christmas tree. All right. So Nimrod was the king. She was his, his wife slash mother. So when he died, she was the queen. Zin, whoever did not bring gifts to that tree to pay homage to Nimrod, what she would do is to order, you know what I mean, them to be beheaded. And those same head that them cut off was placed upon the Christmas tree. Then, hence you have the Christmas de decoration with the balls, them and the light, them represented the heads that were cut off of the Christmas tree. You know what I mean? All right, so watch this now. We are verse, um, chapter 11. See? Um, chapter 11, verse 1. Genesis chapter 11. And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east, that they found a plain in the land of Shinar. You know what I mean? The same Shinar that Nimrod, Nimrod founded. So Nimrod is the founder of Shinar. And they dwelt there, and they said one to another, Go to, let us make bricks and burn them thoroughly. And they had bricks for stones and slime a day for mortar. And they said, go to, let us build us a tower, slack a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto heaven, and let us make us a name. So they build a tower to go up into heaven, to, you know what I mean, to challenge the most high. You understand? Because at this time, they were on the other side of the flood, where the most high flood the earth, and they, they, they were multiplying again. No. Their, their, you know what I mean? Their imagination was to fight the Most High, to come up against the Most High, to prevent him from flooding the earth again. So that is the founder of the Christmas tree. The same Nimrod who founded the land of Shinar or the land of Babel, you know what I mean? Babel, you know what I mean? Where the tower was built, where they want to go to fight the Most High, is, this, is the founder of the Christmas tree. So the Most High is not with Christmas. You understand? And if you want to know why so much suffering and so much stress come around Christmas, you know what I mean? It's because of, you know what I mean, the origins of Christmas. And the Most High already told us to not follow the ways of the Eden. You know what I mean? The Most High said to have no other gods before him. You understand? Don't have no other gods. And you celebrating Christmas is serving another God. You understand? So, you know what I mean? And we're going to show you that the Most High ate Christmas by jumping to the book of Amos, right? This is the book of Amos, chapter 5 and verse 21 to 23. And this is what the Most High said, I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell in your soul them assemblies. So this Christmas feast that you're getting ready to, you know what I mean, to have the Most High say, eat it and despise it. 
You understand? And he will not smell that filthy, you know what I mean, pork when you cook on Christmas. Him no one smell it. Continue reading. Verse 22. Though ye offer me burn offerings and, ye, and your meat offerings, the food when you prepare on Christmas, I will not accept them, neither will I regard the peace offering of your fat beast. So the most I will not accept that chicken that you, prof you, you prepare, that pork, because the most I say, despise it. Verse 23. Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs. The most I don't want to hear your Christmas carols, neither. You understand? The most I don't want to hear your gospel music. Zin, For I will not hear the melodies of thy vials. The most I don't want to hear it none at all because you're, 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 um, you're, you're, you're practicing idolatry. You understand? And the most I tell you not to celebrate these holidays. You understand? Because what? The most I gave you holidays. He gave you the Passover. You know what I mean? He gave you the Feast of Unleavened Bread. You know what I mean? Feast of Purim. You know what I mean? So many holidays that he gave to the children of Israel. But yet still, we are, you know, because of Christianity and because of the oppressor, we celebrate these pagan holidays. You understand? So, you know what I mean? Just to show you that, you know what I mean? This, it is not a blessing to celebrate Christmas. The most I don't have nothing to do with Christmas. The most I eat it. As a matter of fact, you, 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 you know what I mean? You run a serious danger by celebrating Christmas. So, we implore you know, to come to the ISUPK and make we teach you know, the right way. You know what I mean? Teach you know, these laws, statutes, and commandments. You know what I mean? Here in the Bible. You know what I mean? That was given to your four parents, to Moses and the children of Israel. You know what I mean? From the Most High. You know what I mean? Come to the ISUPK and the commanding general, your honor. Make we get on the right so we can escape out of this captivity. Because guess what? You know what I mean? When the sufferation now go end by celebrating Christmas, as a matter of fact, it will get worse. When I suffer right throughout the year, and the government freeing up, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? For them selfish means, pan Christmas and pan New Year's Eve and all them time there. See? So they can make money. I want to see it as a saving grace, but this is not a saving grace. You know what I mean? Come next year. You know what I mean? The most I ever punish, you know, for, you know what I mean? For all, for celebrating Christmas. You know what I mean? And Christmas come with a lot of load activity. And the origin of Christmas is based in whole heap of, you know what I mean? Sexual immorality, homosexuality and all of them. Something there. So, you know what I mean? You celebrating Christmas is tying yourself to basically a homosexual religion or holiday. See right now, them... They might advertise Santa Claus as being a homosexual. So the whole Christmas holiday, shaky right now. So if you celebrate Christmas, you're shaky. You get the me I say? Yeah, man, it's a shake up holiday, that man. You see it? So we implore you know, come from out of that, come from out of the Christian church, because they are the ones that promote these filthy lewd customs. You know what I mean? For the children of Israel. So we implore you know, come out of that quick and fast before, you know what I mean? He, the most I of a judge, you know, as he have been. That's why I see so much death and destruction amongst us. And we can't seem to find the solution. But we here in the ISUP can a command in general. And we have the solution. You understand? So, yeah, man. So without further ado, I say like the video. Share. Subscribe to this channel. And leave on a comment. You understand? And with that, shall I?